What's up everybody, Derek here. And today we are down on the creek to see what lives in this particular part of the creek. And my dad's here and he's got something in his hand that we're gonna go fishing with. You might as well go fishing with what is in the area. And it is that guy right there. There are literally grasshoppers all over the place. So we're gonna throw them on a bobber with a hook and see what's on this creek because he's buying some property hopefully upstream of where we're at right now so we'll know what lives in here so let's get to fishing all right dad let's grab that grasshopper i don't even know how i want to hook this guy but probably probably just through the side body i would think i just go under that jacket there brother right there or the other way well Put that away. i got him on there Let's toss it out in this tree right here and see what happens. Only got it set about two foot down. Oh, he trying to float. Mm, I might need some more weight for that guy. To get him down there, he's under the water. Hey, he's trying to float. Oh yeah, that that weight's about halfway. I need to get that weight down closer to where he's at. Cause that weight, it's kind of below it now because he's trying to float. Almost need a jig head. But that's, I'm gonna have to have a bigger jig head. That's a bigger grasshopper. Oh, one came up to hit it. They're coming up to hit it. Oh, I think a bluegill got it or something. Oh, he floated off. Oh, they eating him. Yep, they eating him. I mean, they are thick in here. There they go. Oh, I see one right there. See if I can get him. Oh, I missed him. Got him. Got him. Well, I got a good, I got a good size one right here. Let's go right through there. He can't go nowhere. I'm gonna toss it right here. There's a little tree top right here. Oh, there's minnows all over down in there. I'm gonna toss it right underneath me. It's a little hole. Oh, get him. Oh. Did he already come off? Oh, he already came off. Man. These things ain't working out very good. Here, let me try to put, put him on there for you. All right, you do it. You do it how you think then. This is how I always do it. Just kind of go behind that jacket, behind the head. Oh. Yeah. Right there. Just kind of like that. Okay, we'll see how that does. They came out, they're down here under this treetop. They came out as soon as I dropped it down there. Right like that. Oh, there's a big one. Yeah, he stayed on there that time. They're paying attention to that weight though. Mm. Oh, there's a bass. He's twitching too. try something since he's trying to float <laughs> I'm gonna take this bobber off of here oh and that looks like that weight 
I'll pull the weight up. Oh, okay. And he'll try to float up off the bottom. They're little bass down there. Seems like those fish are fairly deep but down in there too, so get it up off the bottom a little bit. See if that does it. Because they're they're pecking at that weight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a bad wind on it too. I'm gonna have to get that out. There, it came out. Get him down there. Mm -hmm. Those fish are still going after that weight. Oh, they're nibbling at him too. He's getting torn apart. Got him. That's oh, a pretty fish. That is pretty. Well, it worked. Wow, he is beautiful. Thanks, bud. All we got left is a head. Might as well put him on the hook. <laughs> His body's all that's left. how it's going to do with floating well at least it's right down below us so it might not float now oh almost got him oh yep he came off Oh wow, let's see how that does. Drop it down in there again. Whoa. Got a dang wind knot. Oh, he trying to fly. <laughs> oh yeah, those fish going after him. Tear him up. Oh, there's a bass. Does that bass get a turn? Got one. Oh, I had a good one too. Whatever that was. Still got him. Better drop down. No, don't get me in that tree. You got one. Oh, almost had a bass. Oh, they are tearing that thing up. Got one. What is this, smallmouth? Sucker. A sucker, a sucker got a grasshopper. <laughs> or is that a chub? No, that's a chub. <laughs> that's a big creek chub. Uh -huh. Man. They look like smallmouth. Yeah, they kind of do. Well, at least we caught something. Thanks, buddy. And that's what it looks like. Fishing with a grasshopper right there. Let's get this guy a little situated. Kind of like that. I think he's going to do just fine down under there. But that's about the size that I want. We've been fishing with a little bit bigger. But that creek chub nailed it, so... We'll try it with that guy and see what happens. I don't know how this is gonna work since I've been doing it and uh, they've been floating up. But this guy's a little bit smaller, so I don't know if I need to just kind of tight line it. Like that. Ooh, pretty one. Good one right there. At the uh, sacrifice of the grasshopper wow oh. dang those are pretty that's that's about as big as they get right there too well get on down there buddy he made it <laughs> heard him splash oh, I can see him that wind died down got 
something. I think it's a chub. I don't, ah! Oh. I don't know if that was a bass or if that was a chub. Oh, oh. Got him! Chub. <laughs> That's kind of fun. It's almost like catching a bass in a way. I get, I'm, after watching that, you would tear them up on corn. Oh my goodness, would you tear them up on corn? Oh, I hear a bullfrog. Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, he was a slimy mess. Ugh. Well, the grasshopper whisperer and myself are done today. We came down here and caught our own live bait. In all this grass, there is millions of grasshoppers out here. And it's one way to go fishing and catch them. And you know, if the grasshoppers are right here, they're jumping in that water and that's what a lot of these fish are feeding on. So it made sense to be fishing with what they're probably eating anyways. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.